This is wait, what? What is it? Every oh. working wow. glitch for season three. Like and wow. subscribe before I I'll do it. make you pee. Alrighty then. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. I'm gonna be showing you how to do a bot lobby glitch for season three and an XP glitch for season three that you can do right now. So it's double XP weekend, so make sure you do it ASAP, <laughs> drop a like, subscribe. And make sure to check out my sponsor for this video, Damn Mods. They offer the quickest and safest Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 boosting services and pre-made accounts for all platforms and you can unlock the interstellar and borealis camos and get the nuke skin and there's way more services you should check out right now at damnmods.com use code joey for five percent off and check out all the reviews or join their discord all right back to the video okay guys so come over here to plunder quads plunder's finally back in season three so go ahead and start that bad boy up squad fill on or off does not even matter just go ahead and start the game and get the weapon that you want to level up and add it to your class this is my bad boy here that i'm going to be leveling up these are blueprints that I got for free from my last glitch. So if you weren't there for that, you probably missed out because it's patched. So next time, go ahead and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my glitches in the future. So subscribe right now and drop a like. Thank you very much. But anyway, go back and start a game and I'll show you what to do in the game. So let me explain to you what this glitch actually is. So everyone's doing the AFK plunder glitch right now. We get AFK battle bus tokens by going AFK and plunder, which means there's going to be a lot of people at the end of the plane still in the plane. So once it forces everyone to drop out, you're going to see a bunch of people dropping into the uh, sky. You're going to go with them and kill them just like this. So the, foot so the footage you're seeing on screen right now is not my footage. It's from another YouTuber. His link's in the description. But go ahead and try it. If you get this many people, just equip a Semtex and throw it right in the center just like he does. Look how much XP you're going to get. That's insane. And don't forget to throw your decoys for that bonus XP. As you can see on screen right now, you're getting XP just for throwing decoys at them. So go ahead and do that bad boy. But don't click away just yet. There's one more XP glitch. I'm going to be showing you how to do in Plunder as well. After you kill these bots, you're going to go to a buy station, get ammo boxes, fill your whole inventory with decoys and go throw them at players. And look at how much XP I just get for throwing all my decoys at one player. Do this for the entire game. In every game, do these two methods. You're going to level up in no time with weapon XP, battle pass XP, and rank XP. I'm in the game. It's Modern Warfare 2. I used to struggle, but now I'm feeling way brand new. I found a glitch, and let me tell you, man, it's given me superpowers. I'm Superman. I'm sticking up an enemy. This is the duplication glitch you can do right now for Season 3, which unlike the other methods shown on YouTube, we have to get the teleportation and Blood Brother King, get the codes, I don't know what. You're going to be able to unlock all the schematics and money in just two minutes without doing any of that. Trust me, I know it's too good to be true, but trust me, it's not. Just watch this video and you're going to be so satisfied that you're going to drop a like and you're going to subscribe. Watch, I guarantee. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. I'm going to be showing you how to do the Tombstone glitch if you want to, but before we get into that, I'm going to be showing you an even better method so you can choose from the two on which one you want to do so that you're happy by the end of watching this video so we're first going to begin with the method that i think is the best one but if you don't like it you can go and do the tombstone glitch yourself and then duplicate it yourself the only problem is if you do it yourself you're going to run into a stash limit and you're not going to be able to duplicate until you use them but in the first method you can do this over and over again as many times as you want whenever you need it so you don't have to worry about the stash limit hope that makes sense drop a like subscribe and let's get straight into it you're going to go ahead and go to the link in my description you're going to join my discord and go to the g chat then you're going to tag a helper and say hey helper this is what i want this this and this someone's going to reply to you going to come join your game and give you anything that you've ordered completely free you don't have to do anything except let them join your game they'll take you to the tombstone and drop all the items that you wanted and money as well you can get up to a million essence in one game and all of this is done in less than two minutes of gameplay then go leave a review with the other hundreds of reviews you can see in my discord and uh tag the helper that helped you out so they can get a good rep and help out more people if you want to become a helper let me know in the comments down below or message me on discord or just simply tag a mod and say make me a helper all right there we go now i've explained that to you let's go back to the tombstone glitch this is the best one don't worry about the blood burner key the scorch i didn't any of that let's go back to the og method for the tombstone glitch that is still working let's begin this is the like the like like the tombstone like 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 and subscribe let's begin okay guys so first of all you're gonna need the bad signal mission equipped so go ahead and equip that bad boy and then go ahead to your inventory and put the uh items that you want to duplicate put them all in the inventory and go ahead and start a game of modern warfare 3 zombies now once you're in the game the first thing you're gonna do is get some money because you need at least three thousand dollars two thousand of that is gonna go to a tombstone so go ahead and buy a tombstone and then also one thousand to activate the portal now once you got all that stuff you're gonna go straight to this location on the map right here so what you're gonna do is come to this location in the building come up the stairs and put in the 
code I'm showing you on screen right now. One, two, three. Go ahead and put that code in. Now activate the portal with $1,000 and follow me. Go ahead all the way down to this bad signal portal right over here and you're gonna activate that portal. Now you're gonna run back all the way as fast as you can. If you've got stamina up, it's gonna make it very easy for you. So make sure you've got stamina up. Run all the way through this location where I'm showing you here. Just follow me where I go. Go back to the portal, enter the portal and come straight over here to the edge of the beach. Make sure you're looking at the time on the left-hand side. Once that hits three seconds, you're gonna go to the map and hold triangle if you're on PlayStation or Y on Xbox and accept yes now is going to time i appear on the screen hover over at the end section and once it goes from seven seconds to six seconds you're going to walk out of bounds and that is exactly what you need to do that's all you need to do but there's one more step if it's done correctly the portal is going to put you through and take you to the eliminated screen now once it's on the eliminated screen you're going to go ahead and wait for the black screen to appear once it goes black on any console pc quit the application go ahead and quit it and now when you return to zombies you're going to see you have all your items there still unequip them into the stash go back into the game and go all your items again from the tombstone and then repeat keep on doing this you're going to duplicate your items but this is very useful because you don't have to wait for the Two day cooldown on all your schematics. But the glitches, yeah, they don't last forever. Soon they'll be passed, and we have to remember. So guys, you're gonna come to the private match of multiplayer or Warzone, it doesn't matter. You're gonna go to the weapon section and you're gonna create a class that you wanna use in multiplayer, Warzone or Zombies, but there are some rules you need to follow. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you them right now. So the first one, you're gonna need to have the base weapon unlocked, which means you have to have the gun actually unlocked for this to work and for you to use it. So the weapons at a battle pass, if you have them unlocked already, that's completely fine. You can get any attachments you want of them right now without even leveling it up to level two. You don't need any levels on it. You just need a base weapon unlocked. That's all you need to know. So let's Let's go ahead and show you exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to be showing you on the uh, gun, the Rival 9. Since I've got that unlocked, I'm going to be showing you how to get it right now. So let's go ahead and put all the attachments. We'll remove them first, put them on my weapons, and we're going to go and put the most max attachments you can find right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put them all on right now. Okay, so there we go. I've absolutely maxed it out. I don't really care about what the um, modifications are. I just wanted to show you that it works like this. So we're going to go ahead go back to the gunsmith. Bottom left corner, save as a custom mod. Save it as whatever you want. And now we're going to leave private match and go back to multiplayer. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now let's go to Modern Warfare 3, go to multiplayer or Warzone. You can do it in both, as I said, since you save it as a custom mod. It's basically a blueprint you can use in any game mode and it's going to work every single time. So go to the weapon section, go to the edit section, and let's go ahead and pull up the weapon. So it was an SMG and it was a Rival 9. So let's go get that bad boy. There we go. So as you can see right here, guys, if I go to the gunsmith, all the attachments I put on are unlocked and I can't even access it. And that means I can actually use them in the game. So if we go back to the... Um, Firing range, you see all the attachments are kept on still, and I can go ahead and play with it. So as I told you, I don't really care what the attachments are. I'm just using it as an example. You can do this with any attachments, any class. You can do it for the meta weapons and get them right now without even leveling them up. As I showed you, it's level two for this weapon and I got any attachments unlocked. Go ahead and do that for every weapon right now. I'm sneaking up on enemies that I know I'm there. That's because I'm in God, man. I never play fair. I'm at the top of leaderboards and I'm on fire. If you say you don't like glitches, then I say that you're a liar. I'm the glitch master. I'm untouchable. These glitches are making me unkillable. Alrighty, lads. So go ahead and go to Google and search up Prime Loot Gaming and come to the first website you see right here. Scroll down and search up Call of Duty in the search bar. So once you search up Call of Duty, you're going to see there's two results for this bad boy. You've got Call of Duty Mobile and you've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which is on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So go ahead and open up those bad boys. Go straight to the claim section and claim it. Now you're going to press get in-game content and you're either going to start a 30-day free trial if you don't have a Prime account or sign into your Prime account right here. Once you signed in, come back to the page, press get in-game content, and then it says success. You've got your color blocked, sent to the game. Come back to the mobile, do the exact same thing as I'm showing on screen right now. Once you load back into the game, you go to the bottom right, press my bundles, and you got the bad boy color blocked uh, blueprints right here, as I've shown you just before. And now on to the next one. This is the decomposition pack. This bad boy you can unlock very quickly, but it's for PlayStation users only, so be aware of that. If you're on PC or Xbox, you don't have access to this one at all. But basically, all you're going to do is go to the store, go all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to find it right here for $0. Go ahead and claim it, and that's it. Now you can use in Modern Warfare 3. 
And now it's time for the third one of the video and the last one as well, the monster skin that you can see right now. I'm gonna be showing you how to get that and all you have to do is go to the link in my description. Alrighty guys, so come to the website, it's in my description. You're gonna come over here. It's not gonna say this because once you've logged into your actual account, it's gonna see that you don't have the skin in your account. However, I do, so it's saying that I already have it. Put in the code right here. So you copy this code, put that right into there and press redeem code and it's gonna come up with an absolute beast of a monster skin that you see on the screen right now in your account. Restart Call of Duty and you'll be there in my bundles in the same place you saw the last uh, skin I showed you. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. This is the quickest guide you're ever going to see for going AFK Battle Pass tokens where you won't be kick fan activity and you're going to be getting this many tokens every single time you go AFK. It's absolutely ridiculous. And here we go. Okay, so all you're going to do is go to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and unequip everything in your stash. So make sure you're going with nothing. Just your bare hands that's all you need go to squad fill or no squad fill it doesn't matter but i do suggest you do go squad fill because your teammates can get some xp for you while you're going afk they'll get you some money unlock contracts and help you level up even more so if you go with the squad fill it's even better but it isn't needed so yeah jump into the game and head to this location by going to a uh, rift or a gliding tower just go ahead and go there straight to this location come to this bad boy and hide underneath here and this is where you're going to be going AFK for the entire game. That's all you need to do is just go AFK straight from here. And just to note, even this big fucker over here can't even touch you. So you're absolutely invisible once you're in this glitch. It's insane. And at the moment, it's XP weekend. So I'm getting this many tokens. But if it's not XP weekend, when you're watching this, just put on XP tokens for your battle pass. You get the same amount of battle pass tokens. Just make sure to exfil before you end the game. Otherwise, there's sometimes another glitch where you don't actually get your tokens. And it's very annoying. You've wasted an hour. So go ahead. When there's like one minute left, go to an exfil. Just run away. Go to an exfil. Exfil the game and your sweets.